Well, with cryolipolysis, the, the key really is to cool the fat, but not cool the skin. And so the skin has a protective uh, uh, amount of blood vessels that the blood flow is greater in the skin than in the fat, so it can overcome this cooling process so that we can non-invasively cool the fat more than we can cool the skin. And once that cooling takes place, uh, the cooling persists for a certain amount of time and a percentage of the fat cells within that fat layer will recognize this and go on to an apoptotic state. And when that happens, a series of events happen in the cells where the cells die, the membranes release the contents of the cells, which is the lipids and fat within the cell, and then those get taken away by your bloodstream. Now this process happens over a fairly long period of time. We start to see the clinical effects after one to two to three months and sometimes up to four to six months. So the amount of fat that's elaborated into the systemic circulation is very, very little and does not have any effect on the systemic circulation at all.